this is only a response to your questions, not, not a reaction. I'm not reacting to it. So actually, the, the questions are born out of the answers you already have. Otherwise, you cannot have any questions. I don't have any questions of any kind except the questions I need to ask to function in this world sanely and intelligently. I have to accept the reality of the world as it is imposed on me. Otherwise, uh, I cannot function sanely and intelligently. As a matter of fact, this, this, this is knocking off the, the very foundation of the logical structure which we have built there. Its interest is to capture this, put it this in the framework of your logical thinking and through that it gathers momentum. So it's not uh, illogical, but uh, it, 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 the very logical foundation is false. It, it works, it helps us uh, in a particular area, but uh, it only sharpens the, the intellect which he, we are using. So what, what we always do is to use the intellect, and that is not the instrument to understand something living. And there is no other instrument, and you don't need any other instrument. So to talk of intuition, to talk of... Uh, some other way of understanding. So that's not the instrument and there is no other instrument. If that is the situation, there is no need for you to have any other instrument. There is no need to understand anything. How that understanding, that that is not the instrument and there is no other instrument, is something which you have no way of knowing. It just dawns on you that that is not the instrument and there is no other instrument. So there is no need to search for another kind of an instrument. So anything you want uh, implies that you have to think. Wanting and thinking are not two different things. Anything you want, what it doesn't matter what you want, whether the material goodies or spiritual goodies, the only thing you do is to think. And to be able to do that, you need some ideas is given to us by others. But they are all false. So I can say they are false. <coughs> There's no point in uh, you were saying that they are false. See, the, the only problem that is there, the, the, um, the battle that is going on there is the demand to fit into the value system. What I emphasize, in, in my encounter with people, if I may use that word, is to emphasize that we have placed before ourselves uh, the goal of a perfect being. Mm -hmm. By placing that goal as the goal before us, the culture has done tremendous harm to the human species. Actually, nature is creating perfect species and not perfect beings. So we have created a value system, culture, society, or whatever you want to call it, has created this value system, born out of the idea that the perfect being functions that way. See, So there is no way you can fit yourself into that value system, and that is why there, there is a battle. You can't throw that system out of the window or down the drain because you are forced to accept that that is the only valuable system that we have created so far and that you have to fit into that frame. That's the battle, that's the, the conflict that is there. So somehow, you see, that gives you the hope and we all live in hope and I. <laughs> Sorry, I have said my piece. Anything? Uh, this is not a talk. And I never give talks. <laughs> I've said a lot of things. But are there any guidelines to this value system? The guidelines the are there, the whole ethical codes of conduct is, is there for us. But why is it a problem for us to fit ourselves into that value system? Why? Why does it have to be tomorrow? Take any of those things. 
selfishness, for example, the society, uh, whether you are here in Hong Kong or in India or in America, demands that you should be free from selfishness. Mm. And uh, what is it that we are doing to free ourselves from selfishness? We have placed before ourselves the goal. We have accepted the goal placed before us that we should all be selfless. And so it is that that has created the selfishness here. There is no selfishness there at all. The demand to be free from selfishness is the one that has created the selfishness there. It is very difficult for you to understand what I am trying to say. Supposing you want to tell yourself, what is it that is here? What do you see there? Assuming for a moment that you can see something there, what you see there is the opposite of what you like to be, what you would, what you want to be, what you should be, what you should ought to be, what you must be. That is all that you see there. And. Um, what is it that you are doing to be free from selfishness? You are doing a thing. What you are doing is only thinking. That thinking implies postponing the action that is necessary to be free from whatever you are trying to be free from. So anything that is there, any, any movement that is there, any action that is taking place cannot be false. Take for example the desire, if I may use that word. Desire is the expression of life. There is no point in saying that you should be free from desire. If you are free from desire, you will be a corpse there, I assure you. If you are really free from desire, you will be a corpse, a dead corpse, if I may use that is to emphasize that clinical death will take place. But by inventing this that you should be free from desire for whatever reason or that you should replace one desire with uh, another kind of a desire, holier desire or try to be desireless for whatever reason you are postponing any action that is necessary for you to free yourself from the desire for whatever reason uh, you want to be free from desire I don't see any reason why you should be free from desire because you have no way of looking at what you call desire. You have no way of looking at what you call selfishness. You have no way of looking at what you call anger, greed, jealousy, and you can sit on platform and harangue, you see, give lectures on how to be free from anger, how to be free from greed, how to be free from all those fancy stuff that we have been asked to free ourselves from. For whatever reason, maybe for the continuity and the status quo of the society, uh, such people are useful. But uh, anger, for example, is, is an outburst of tremendous energy there. So it cannot be false, it cannot do any harm either to this body or to your fellow beings. It is not that that is really the problem. The problem is that you are wanting to be free from anger for whatever reason. You have set in motion the demand to be free from the frustration. You have tried so many times to be free from all those things, but you have not succeeded. Only tomorrow, the day after, probably in your next life, if there is one, you are going to be free from that. What is there is how to be free from anger, how to be free from grief, how to be free from selfishness, how to be free from desire, how to be free from jealousy, how to be free from envy. These are all very pious, wonderful copybook maxims, but you have never seriously tried to deal with them. They are something living, you see. What you are trying to do or the instrument which you are using to free yourself from is a dead thing. It cannot touch anything living. All ideas, all thoughts are dead. So any attempt on your part to touch something living, that will be burned. So your interest is to maintain that. What you are there is nothing but the identity you have created. Not you have created. The society culture has created you and me, you know. And so there is no way you can experience anything see, without the help 
of that totality of knowledge that is passed down to us from generation to generation. The fact that you are alive is something which cannot be experienced by you except through the knowledge that is given to us by the, the medical technology or uh, some other way. So, is it possible for you to be free from those things? Uh, <laughs> I say no, you say yes. But that has to be only in the future. Why does it have to be in the future? Why there is no action now? What prevents the action? It is necessary if selfishness is really a problem to be free from that now, you see, at this moment and not tomorrow and the day after. That means until tomorrow you will remain selfish. Until day after tomorrow, until the end of your life, you will remain selfish. There is no way. I'm not saying anything against selfishness, you see. The ruthless selfishness is something that will free you from selfishness and not the practice of selflessness for whatever reason you are trying to free yourself from. So that applies to everything that you are trying to be free from because there, the jealousy, for example, you see, I am referring to all these things because the whole ethical course of conduct insist that you should, you see, be free from this, that and the other. But we have never, never really come to grips with the real problem because there is no problem there. <laughs> there is no problem there. The solutions that people, the great teachers have offered to us are really not the solutions. If they were the solutions, the problems wouldn't be there, you know. If there is no way you can solve the problem, even then the problem is not there. What we are dealing with is the solutions offered to us by the great teachers of mankind. And we dare not question the solutions because that means you are questioning the teachers who say they have solved these problems for themselves and by themselves and offered us those solutions as the way out of the problems we are trying to solve the problems. So, as I said at the very beginning, you have no questions at all. All the questions which you throw at yourself and others are born out of the answers you already have. If there is an answer, the question cannot be there. It's why we keep asking the question all the time, all through our lives, there must be something funny, something strange, something wrong with the whole business. So if there is an answer to that question, the question goes. If the question goes, the answer goes, naturally. If the answer goes, the one who is responsible or one who has given that answer as the answer for our problems, that teacher also goes. There the sentiment comes into the picture and we don't want any answers for the questions. I have said a lot, that's enough for you. You can, you can turn it off. <laughs> I have said these things over and over. Yes. And uh, I like today, I will ask the same question I asked three years ago. Three years ago. You will continue to ask the same See, question? Yes, sir. The next 10 years, 15 years. You are the guy, I mean, really, perfect. <laughs> you just, we open the mouth, you just blast us. No, I, I don't think I have any, I don't think I have any illusions that I can gloss the whole thing. <laughs> that has a tremendous yes. momentum. It has survived millions and millions and millions of years. The problem is why you cannot fit this into that framework. You see, it is that that is fighting the battle. The moment you succeed and capture this, whatever I am saying, into that framework, you have destroyed me. It has to remain outside and you have to leave this place with this question, what is it that guy is talking? So absolute rubbish. You can't figure out, you can't, it doesn't make any sense to you. If it makes any sense, you are not listening to me at all. You are listening to yourself. There is no way you can listen to anybody in this world 
except in the school even there you don't listen the teacher talks something and uh, you listen to something else so I, I can say without hesitation I haven't learned anything from either the spiritual or s even secular teachers in my life you learn precious little from others but it's a very question what do you want may I ask you what do you want don't answer if you say what you want, that means you are thinking. You know, anything you want, you can get it in this world. And this is the only reality. There is no other reality. If you come to terms with this reality, then it's a lot easier for you to deal with these problems. The tremendous amount of energy which we are using to achieve our goals, huh? if that is released, what is it that we can't do in this world? It, the problems of this world are very simple, I tell you, I, I assure you. But a tremendous amount of energy is consumed by your quest for permanent happiness, permanent pleasure, permanent things do not exist at all. There is no such thing as permanence. So, it's not one who is interested in enlightenment, satori, or this, that, or the other. The, the bus driver there is interested in permanent happiness. You see, the quest for happiness is all that everybody is interested in, without an exception. Whether you are a Russian, or a Chinese, or an Indian, or an American, whether you are educated or not educated, happiness without one moment of unhappiness, pleasure without one moment of pain. That's what everybody is interested in. God, truth, reality, enlightenment, um, all those things are nothing but the extensions of the same pleasure movement. If I were enlightened, I would be able to solve these problems. You will not be able to solve these problems as long as you depend upon some something to happen there, enlightenment, moksha, liberation, freedom, I don't know, it's a radical transformation all that kind of a thing is the one that is preventing the possibility of coming to terms with the reality of this world. You, see? you, see, you have to accept everything that is imposed on us. You see that this is hot, that this is, I don't even know what this color is, that this is a cup, this is water. But even that is questionable. When you begin to question the reality of everything which we have taken for granted, you will be in trouble. You see. But we have to accept, you see, if you ask me what is this, uh, I would say it's a cup of water, there's a tape recorder and so on and so forth. Th that's understood, you see, but the, the, the impossibility is born out of your thinking. You don't want a thing, I don't want a thing, then there is no thinking. <laughs> you can try. So what do you want? <laughs> Keep hammering this question. What do you want? No. no. <laughs> I'm not your teacher, excuse me. I'll, I couldn't even open my mouth. You I don't couldn't even ask that question. <laughs> well, well, that question is just to finish. That's, that's finished. Yes. You see, that's the way. What, what do I want? You see, the question, what do I want? Huh? Then it stops. Anything you want, you are not doing anything, but you are just thinking as to how to get it. Hmm? No? <laughs> Why you are recording? I just turned it on again. Turn it off. <laughs> All these bodies, to recycle and to maintain the, the balance of energy in the universe, it's not interesting. So we are not in any way harming, destroying the planet. That's a big talk, the, you know. The planet is in danger. The planet is not in danger. But the planet is destroyable. By whom? By ourselves. Yes, we go. By nuclear power. Uh, we go. We can destroy it. Uh, we, why not? We are doing everything to destroy ourselves. So why, as if planet is, <laughs> is, is different from you. We are living on this planet. If we destroy ourselves, 
the nature will recycle all these bodies uh, to maintain its balance of energy in the universe. It's not interested. These bodies are useful to nature only for recycling. There's no other value. All that we think, all that we feel, all that we have created uh, in the name of culture is worthless for this planet. It has not helped us, you see, to, to save ourselves from a disaster. How My vegetarian you? food. <laughs> you see, I'm, like, I'm asking you. Yes. you, 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 you I'm see, asking you. No, I why mean, you are concerned about something I didn't understand? Listen, what you listen. Yeah. This body, this living organism, has survived for millions and millions of years under most adverse circumstances. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here. Mm. And why is it you are concerned to bother about that? You are paranoid. You see, what is good, what is bad for that? You know, it, you can survive on sawdust and glue. And glue is, is some uh, fla flavor. too much. Not too much. Not Me too much. Not too much. <laughs> it's too much. If I <laughs> Just sawdust is impossible. <laughs> impossible because we are used to this rich, right. At least rich food I'm honest there. with myself. I know it's You impossible. are not honest with yourself. I don't believe enough, you see. You know, you see what? You think, you think, uh, you know what is good but for that body. No, in a way I do get... Uh, you, I don't, you know, I don't eat fruits, I don't eat vegetables. So do you know what I eat? Not exactly the, the sawdust and glue, but this body needs some energy. All those who have frightened me that you will have, you see, so much of cholesterol. How, how much do I take, uh, Julie, every day? A lot. A lot of cream, double cream, triple <laughs> cream. What's wrong with me? I don't, you see, this protein, you know, I have seen so many of these uh, authorities on uh, nutrition and all, shoot them all on site, at site. <laughs> you, <see? laughs> you know, they have a best, you know, I was talking to a group of people in, in, in California. California is the land of all the crazies. There were one or two uh, specialists, you see, uh, nutrition, stop me. And I made this statement, you see, that we can survive <laughs> on sawdust and glue. Glue is like, you see, some spicing. And that fellow said, he's talking absolute rubbish, you see. Don't listen to him. They, they. And one Russian woman got up and she said, for four years I survived on that kind of food. Because we didn't have any food to eat when there was this Leningrad seas. You will be surprised on what we survived. We never had any illness, she said. No illness at all. I have known many people who lived in the concentration camps, you see, in, in China and in Russia. They survived so well. You know, I'm not recommending that to you. To you. <laughs> you, eat the, you eat the macrobiotic food, you see, the rice and brown rice. The very brown rice puts me in a, in a blue funk, the color. <laughs> I, I grew up on triple polished rice. What's wrong with me? I'm 72 years old. Do I look very sick and uh, emaciated? But I'm not recommending this to you. Please, you exactly. do what you like. You yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have survived 72 years on that kind of a food. You see, that's all. Mm. <laughs> worse than that. <laughs> worse than that. The more preservatives you have in the food, the greater is the chance of preserving this body <laughs> longer. <laughs> that is yeah. nonsense. Excuse me. You may say nonsense. Here nonsense. I am a living pro. Honestly, if you say that food I, For a vegetarian, I don't eat vegetables. Yeah, this is nonsense. Yeah, you may say it's nonsense. poisons. We know. You know they have to be a doctor. I don't have to. You are a frightened cancer. man. You are a frightened man. No, I'm 55. I'm a vegetarian for 17, and I feel like 20 years old. Yes, I am 72. What about me? Double <laughs> <laughs> twice your age. <laughs> Thank you. I have said enough. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We what like time you. is? It? We like. Nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because you make people think. That's the no, thing. that's the very thing I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you want a troublemaker, but positive. Troublemaker. <laughs> I'm an innocent man. Positive, positive one. I'm a very innocent people, man. For the people who want to understand it.
Please don't film me. I don't, I'm not going to film you. No, 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 don't. Yes. <laughs> We'll, okay. we'll censor that, don't bother. But a psychiatrist comes along and tells you, you must do this and do that. To be functional in this world, if you are not functional, you will end up in the loony bin singing yes. merry melodies and loony tunes. But that no, the neurotic people function less better, huh? no? That is necessary. The whole culture is built on the... I mean, people who, who are stuck with... Why are you talking of people in general? No, I mean me, for You example. are a neurotic yes. individual, wanting... So if I'm neurotic, I cannot survive so, uh, so you are. Well. That is why you are surviving. Otherwise, you will be there in the mental hospital. Because if I'm in conflict, I can't even... You are in conflict. Are you not in conflict? Wanting two things at the same time. That is the one that is responsible for the conflict. You mean the conflict makes me survive? It in makes you feel that you are living. Without that, you are not there. If you don't have any problems, you have to create a problem to feel that you are living. And I agree with you fully, 100%. That is the immunity to live, and Good. that is called vaccination. If yeah. you are not vaccinated, yes. you are right, because you consider society as a madhouse, and I agree No, I am not saying this is <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> No, no, he is right. If you want to survive in this society, you have to have that poison. Uh, sure, yeah. otherwise you can't survive in this world. Mentally speaking. <laughs> I think there is some misunderstanding. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, you know, I got your message, but... Yeah, what message? Well, how can I say it? I cannot say it because everything I say would be wrong. You know? No, 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 no. Neither, neither. Anyway, I, I, I think I can survive better. Survive better with this message. You know, you will be destroyed. Well, I don't know don't what message. Me. Sure. <laughs> Even if I've been destroyed, I think I survive better. <laughs> Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Yes. I, I really wonder uh, how animals, uh, if they are same as us, they have intellect. In, in what degree? In, in what way animals are same? We, we, you see, we, we don't want to talk about the animals because we know precious little about them. No, if we are just one. Why do we want to compare ourselves to the animals? As you said, uh, the, the basically, thing. basically, the, the greatest common factor is the, the survival and to to function. That's all functional. Do they have thoughts? Well, I don't know. They, you don't have any thoughts. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Little on the animals. The thoughts are planted there by our culture. So you don't have any want other than what the society culture. Uh, wants us to want. True. That was my problem. Yeah. Not anymore. The, there is nothing that you want to think other than what the culture wants us to think. So to be free from this also is a want. You see that this is... You go crazy. You will flip if you push yourself too hard. You have to find an answer. Is there anything I want other than what they want me to want? That was my question. Or anything that I want to think other than what they want me to think? Nothing here, you see. So how can I, if that is so, is there any way I can free myself from that? Freeing myself from that also is a want. You see. This is another want. Always want something or the other. So I think and think and think and no answer. So something like a lightning hit me, that's the end of the story. <laughs> right, sir, thank you. But I think you move too, <laughs> you know, you I think you move too <laughs> fast. <laughs> it's like a fast train, you can't catch it. It goes a bit slower than we can. Yes, yeah, so that you can think and create problems. No, no, we can go faster. We are not yet uh, ready. What do you mean you are not ready? So there fast. is anybody so who fast. is ready, it is you. <laughs> if you say we are not ready, when are you going to be ready? Ready for what? Next time I see you. Next time. <laughs>
Not la- last time. Next time. How, how would we know if you are planning a next visit? I don't know. I just see my, no, my airline tickets. I'm here for five okay. days. When this I'm is my cousin's idea. So we can do something. <laughs> again? Yes, just why not? Meet again? Why, why not? not? Why not? Yeah. I'm why here. For, I'm leaving on Sunday. Okay. Long, it's a long way. <laughs> you will you be available tomorrow at the same time, 8 o'clock. Where? Why, why do you want to hear this? Place to this place is nice. Decorated. You want to why tomorrow? Again. No place. What do you want to hear me again for? <coughs> clarity of thought. <laughs> which has to be stopped. <laughs> Can you help me finish? <laughs> we can bombard each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, it will be so nice to meet again. Tomorrow yeah. would never Thursday come. Thursday we meet. Tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday, yeah. huh? Thursday <laughs> evening at the same time, sir. You have a but place here, I am free. This place would be uh, torn down. Where? Yes. What do you not, not on the side. Already the bathroom. Yeah. Ah. And tomorrow yeah. he's going yeah. to do this. What is the condition? Day after tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. Sunday. 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 Is there another place? <laughs> because the, uh, the decorator is coming. Tomorrow, tomorrow we can meet at my place. How about this place? Okay. Tomorrow at my place. Right. Oh, we are address to everybody. Thursday there is a ceremony in the temple, so I have committed there. Tomorrow, okay. <laughs> right down. Right down. So Number three. No, you are really. Huh? Is this good?